come along while I spend Patron on this microphone. Watch out, I'm in the zone, worth for everything I own. Life is March Madness, one mistake, then you go. Yeah, I had a stroke, but your boy still rhyming. And fresh got love, but the squad's still wildin'. Catch me in any city in the hood, we grindin'. The next topic we're going to discuss on Boxing Bro should be a very interesting one because we are making our predictions for Canelo Alvarez versus Cullum Smith. So, this could get very interesting, and I'm going to start this one off with Ned. All right. <laughs> Our predictions for this fight. It's going to be a very interesting – it's going to be a great fight. Yo, next make a prediction and stick with it. It's going to be a very good fight next weekend. And I expect everybody to drop whatever money the pay-per-view price is for next week. Shout out to Canelo for taking on these big fights, these challenging and tough fights, and not giving us the same old uh, boring fights that, um, uh, you know, like some, some, some fans want. But shout out to Canelo, man. And I'll pick Canelo to surprise us and upset the top contender at the light heavyweight division in Caleb Smith. And I think, you know, Canelo going to make noise out here. He said he's, it's about legacy at this point for him. And that's pretty, that's pretty ecstatic. Like, you know, you get to see this. In, 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 I get to see this in my lifetime. Like, you get to see a boxer start up from a light uh, welter, light, um, light welter, junior welterweight, all the way up to light heavyweight. It's, it's amazing. Next, you know, y'all thinking, y'all, I, I want to say that, I'll say this for the next, the next episode by picking Canelo. Let's go. All right. Dollar Bill. Uh, I called for this fight long, long, long time ago. Uh, Colin Smith, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous guy. Uh, tall. He got reach. He can box. He can bang. He can he can do it all. Um, and he has a chip on his shoulder because he got to get some get back for his older brother. You know. Um, dangerous, dangerous fight for Canelo. People, people, this is, this Canelo is a guy, right? You got the, you got Canelo. He's, he's always fighting the best, the best after the best. Um, man, yo, you gotta give Canelo all the credit for this fight for fighting a guy like Cullum Smith, like, people don't understand. <laughs> Yo, y'all got to get hip. And, like, there's other guys like Benavides and play, uh, there's other guys in it, but this guy is number one. This guy, Cullum Smith, is number one. And I'm so glad that he got this fight over Plant. You know why? Because I thought Plant was going to try to sneak off and try to get off and try to go in and get a fight with Canelo instead of, you know, getting this fight with David Benavidez. That's the fight we need to see. David Benavidez and Caleb Plant. Neither one of these guys should be trying to fight anybody else. These guys should be trying to fight each other. The fight should be the number one guy in the division against the number one pound-for-pound pound star. And I think that this is happening. We're getting a great treat. Um, I'm picking Canelo to, to, to win. But um, listen, don't. Don't be don't be surprised. <laughs> don't be surprised. I'm putting I'm, I'm picking Canelo to win, but don't be surprised because uh, Cullen Smith is really a live dog, and he beats everybody else. You know what I'm saying? It gives him a very very tough time at that division. You know what I'm saying? At 168, um, he's didn't he didn't fight. He could have Canelo could have fought anybody else in the top ten. He went after the number one guy. So give Canelo some props, please. Give Canelo some props. Viva Mexico. Um, yeah, I got Canelo. I'm just excited for this fight. All right, G. I'm actually real, 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 real nervous for Canelo on this one. So I think he's giving up, I think it's just seven inches, something crazy. Like, yeah, and he ain't no Rocky Fielder. I'm like, oh man, yo, honestly, I love me some Canelo. Tough, man. Yo, it's really hard for me on this one, man. Like, I, me personally, I think David Benavidez is the most dangerous in that division. But, again, Colin Smith is extremely dangerous and talented. So, man, yo, just, I'm, I'm still riding out with Canelo. So, I'm picking Canelo by decision. Split decision. 
Because I, I, I think that's the only way he's going to win. It's going to be a split decision. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to be mad if uh, Canelo gets body. You know what I mean? Because it only makes sense. It's only right. You're going up yeah. against the way bigger guy. So, Canelo, man, just get in the inside however you can and just let them hands go. So, yeah, I got, I got Canelo, man, split decision. Yeah, man. Um, Cullum Smith is 6'3". I'm saying. And Canelo's five eight. Mm. And he has a and he has a wonderful and Cullum Smith has a wonderful uppercut too. And even though you know Canelo could go to the body, Cullum Smith has a wonderful uppercut too. Like this is a great fight, man. The fans is getting a great fight. This ain't one of those when we pick somebody like, oh, he's gonna wash him. This is really a great fight. Yeah, so I never understood what all the hoopla was about. And all the backlash for Canelo Alvarez selecting Cullum Smith over Caleb Plant. Um, when you look at Caleb Plant, you see ability. Again, see, this is my issue with boxing. Only in the sport of boxing do, does our personal bias matter more than what you actually accomplished in the ring. See, Caleb Plant, I think he's a phenomenal talent as well. I think he's an exceptional boxer. But name to me a victory that... Caleb Plant has that's better than George Groves. He doesn't have one. And so Cullum Smith's victory over George George Groves is more impressive to me than anything I've seen from Caleb Plant. Do I think Caleb Plant has more talent, better boxer? That's all opinion. That's all my perception and, and based on, but I can't overlook what's been accomplished in the ring. And beating George Groves, that's a bit that's a better victory than any victory that um Caleb Plant has on his resume at this particular point in time. Right? So that's that's how you have to look at it. Um for me. So I'm not gonna act like this is less intriguing to me because I have seen this man compete at a high level and win um in an impressive stoppage. So I like the fight. Shout out to Brox and Bros UK. I hope we can still be friends after this, but I have to roll with the fighter that I believe is special. And now it's not to say that Colm Smith is not a good fighter, but special is rare. Special's generational. Special's that thing when they retire, statues are built for you, your legacy lives on. And we're talking about Saul Canelo Alvarez, who was not only a professional fighter at the age of 15, but has lived up to expectations and exceeded them already. And so I want to show you this graph. Now, this is um, box rec. Canelo Alvarez is the champion at middleweight. See, this is what you see. Middleweight, Saul Canelo Alvarez, WBA, Box Rec considers him to be the champion at 160. Triple G has the IBF belt. Here's one thing that separates Canelo Alvarez from Triple G. He's moved up in weight to fight other fighters. So people, a lot of people love Triple G. A lot of people defend Triple G. Triple G didn't move up to fight Andre Ward when he was just one weight class above him. Right? He didn't do that. You see Canelo doing that. Now look at above. This is Canelo's the champion at 160. Canelo's moving up in weight to challenge Cullum Smith, the WBA champion, right? And Box Rec has Cullum Smith as the champion, as every other source that we've already pointed that out. Every other major source, ESPN, Ring Magazine, ranks Cullum Smith as the guy at 168. But the WBC has now added the vacant WBC to this fight. So now the winner of this fight is not only going to be seen as the number one guy at 168, right? But they're going to be the WBC champion and the WBA champion, right? Which would mean simultaneously, simultaneously at the same time, if Canelo Alvarez wins, he will not only be the WBA champion at middleweight and seen as the number one guy at middleweight, he will also be the WBA, the WBC and seen as the number one guy at super middleweight. So tell me, when's the last time you've seen someone be 
champion and seen as a number one guy in two weight classes. Oh, and by the way, the guy that box rec ranks as number one as the champion at light heavyweight, Sergey Kovalev, just for craps and giggles, Canelo Alvarez beat him too. For that WBO belt that's vacant now. Yes. <laughs> that WBO belt that's vacant. He's a champion in three different really weight classes. Should be, really should be uh, Canelo's belt. So when you're talking about the greatness of Canelo Alvarez, I felt like you may need to see it because there's a lot of hate. How can you hate on a man who is at the same time really the champion in 175, 168, and 160? How can you hate on that? If there's ever someone you can't hate on in a sport of boxing at this particular point in time, it's Canelo Alvarez. Special. Yeah. I'm going with special. I hope we can still be friends after this. And if Cullum Smith does win, that would make him special. Please like and subscribe. Let us know how you feel in the comment section. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter. And please check out our podcast on all major streaming services. This is the Boxing Bros. We got a fight here. We got a fight here. A great fight. Great fight. We could have been flawless. Yep. Fly enough to make people's mouths drop jawless. How can two years be a race of one August? And you know I have my prize, so I had to get brolic. All in all, I can't call it. Just know you're my queen. Wish I was denim. Wow. Cause then I'd be in your jeans. Can't, can't fight, fight fate. And you've been loving me since your teens. But when true. you can't move forward, you gotta wipe your slate clean.